it's Sarah. I hope all you're having a good day. It is a a little chilly, but it's a beautiful spring day here in Columbus, Ohio. Now, what we're going to do today is just go for a little stroll. And what I'm kind of going to show you is how I walk with my white cane and how much easier it is for me personally to walk on hubby's arm or someone else's arm than using my white cane so show them the roller tip this yeah. is different right yeah so my white cane is a fold out cane and you can tell my roller tip rolls on the sidewalk and i'll show you how you're supposed to use it okay, i'm gonna get you let me go around here you go that way yep i'll go this way so this is how you're supposed to use a rolling tip white cane so you don't have to tap so that from one side to the other. You only tap it as if you know you're somewhere on a ledge. Like if you're on a, uh, like a street sidewalk or something. So walk out to the truck for them. So what I do, my roller tip finds where the grass and the sidewalk is on both sides. And what I do is I stay in the middle and I use you're moving pretty quick. <laughs> well, I've been practicing for 12 years. <laughs> so now why do you only keep it to the right side? Because for me, I have balance problems. Uh -huh. So I stick to the right side of stuff because I'm right hand dominant. Okay. So I'm just going to show them you walking. And you can tell by the rolling tip that the sidewalk and the grass beds change. So I know the sidewalk turns right. Okay, I don't know if they can hear you because I'm a ways away to get all of you in there. Now why did you why did you do that that you just did, grabbed it and pushed it on the ground? Because of my balance problems, I have trouble walking up little, little uh, steps. Okay. So what I do is I put my cane where the step is, walk up to it, walk onto it, then I'll start using the cane with the rolling tip again. Okay. So now... I know I'm at the truck. Okay. So how would you go past the truck? You just touch it? I would put the cane in this hand. Okay. Find the grass. One thing I wanted to ask, because I know somebody may ask, honey. Yeah. How do you avoid the mirrors on a car? I avoid them because I have seen and I know they're there. I know where they're located. So I'm really observant of things that I go to every day. So I know the mirrors are by the the front of the truck okay. or the vehicle. Okay. Do you want to check the mail? Oh, sure. You... So how I cross is I walk a little way because there's a hitch on the back of the truck. But I don't want to nail that because that leaves a big knot. <laughs> Yep. So I know I have to walk across it, find the grass line, and then I go down, and the mailbox is right on the other side of uh, the sidewalk. Okay, awesome. You're close. Uh, it's offset about a foot and a half. Yep, I just had to find the sidewalk. Yep. 
You're right there. There we go. Do we have any mail? Nope. There's no checks? No, no mail. <laughs> okay. So now Wait, we're... Guys, that's how I use my can find in the mail. It takes a while, but I can do it independently. All right. Do we want to show them how you walk on my arm? Yep. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fold my cane up. Okay. I'm going to watch you fold it. That's a pretty cool cane. What do those cost anyway? Uh, go to, I went to independentliving.com. Okay. And they have straight canes that don't fold. They have folding canes. They have different tips. Do you want to put a link up top for them? Sure. So if in case anybody has someone they know that has yeah, a... It just depends about what height you are because you have to get it for your height. Okay. And um, so I don't know how much it costs because it varies so much. Okay, you can talk now. So everybody, that is how I use my cane. Now, there are people that have seen eye dogs and they walk a lot better than I do. But I had five strokes with my brain surgery. And um, it's more difficult for me with my balance than if someone was just born blind. All right, is that it for the day? So, I think it is. All right, well that's usually... Do you have a question for me? No, usually we walk about what, about a mile or so? Yeah. But it's cold out now. The sun was out 10 minutes ago and now it's cold. Are we going home? We're going home. Okay. And you have anything you want to add? We got we got a new challenge coming out this week, right? There is a new challenge. And I won't tell you what it is, but Hubby already said that he may not like it. <laughs> so that is how I check the mail, how I use my white cane. But just remember. The first couple of times that someone uses their white cane in a new area will be very, very frustrating for them. I've been living here for over three years, so I know my sidewalk. I know where we park the truck. I know my obstacles, so it's a little easier for me. Now, when I go somewhere that's new, I stutter step. I get very weary about walking down sidewalks. So just be patient with someone that's visually impaired. Now this may involve someone that's maybe hearing impaired or maybe a mental handicap. Just be patient with someone like that in a new area. So I wanna say I appreciate all of you for watching. Thank you very much for my subscribers and people that just enjoy the videos. And remember, no sight, no problem.